season has just begun for 2023 and there are some important things to remember. One bill you get in the mail could mean the difference in keeping or losing your house. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson joins us now in the studio with more on how Lincoln homeowners should check to make sure they're up to date on their taxes. Mackenzie. County records show that a Lincoln family just lost ownership of their home after they missed their property tax payment. This could happen to anyone in Nebraska, which is why it's important to know how the payments work. We all get a bill mailed to us in December, and people that have a mortgage can just set it aside because they know their mortgage company is going to make the payment. But if you own your house outright, it is your responsibility. Joanne McCoy, who is a realtor in Lincoln, says she had a client who missed a property tax payment. Luckily, they caught it early enough to fix the problem. But if you forget or don't pay it, it could land you in trouble. There's companies, uh, I don't know where they're located, it's hard to track them down, that maybe just have as their business, they just monitor these, and if they notice that somebody is behind on their taxes, they come in and make that payment. And then through the process, after a period of time, if those taxes still haven't been paid, then they can claim the property. In Nebraska, whoever pays your unpaid property tax bill can file a deed to the home if you don't pay it within three years and nine months. A similar situation happened here in Lincoln with a home that was worth around $250,000. County records show that the homeowners missed their property tax payment in 2017, and an investor paid the bill for around $4,000. In August of 2022, the investor claimed the deed to the house, taking ownership of it. McCoy says homeowners can check to see if they're behind on payments on the county treasurer's page. If you have missed one and someone else paid the bill, she has some advice on your next steps. Hire a real estate attorney and see what you can do. But I just don't know how often it happens and how easy these companies are to work with to let you hold on to your home, which was an honest mistake, clearly. Um, I think that for a lot of people, what they're going to have to do if they are responsible for making their own payments is to put somewhere in their calendar, you know, tie a string around their finger, whatever they can do to help themselves remember that you have to make sure those payments are made. And McCoy says you can either pay the full amount when you get the bill in December or split it, with the first half being due by April 1st of the next year and the second half due by August 1st. All right, some very good reminders. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Mackenzie, for our top story.